Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am going to someone else's balcony to plant their planters for fall. You might remember I uh, already went to that balcony in early summer to plant their balcony for summer. Uh, and now it's time to change those compositions to fall. Uh, so now I have to run really quickly to the nursery to pick up some lovely plants. Hopefully I can find what I want because I already have certain um, idea in my head. So if I could find the plants that I want, that would be lovely. Uh, and I also will plant spring bulbs underneath that composition so that once um, fall and winter is um, over, we can remove those plants and we can uh, allow the space for the bulbs to grow so that they can enjoy some lovely spring flowers. So I have a lot of spring bulbs because as you may already know I'm completely addicted to spring bulbs but I just love them so much. They are such an inexpensive way um, to just get a lot of color and a lot of lovely blooms in the spring. So I have my stash of bulbs just here and I have to choose a few bulbs from my stash that I'm gonna take with me and I'm gonna plant on their balcony. Okay, so here's my stash of bulbs. That's a lot, I know, and that's not even all of it. I'm still expecting one more package, but I always buy a lot because then I know that I will make projects for um, friends or family and I can share with them. So, for example, um, I also keep some bulbs because I plant hundreds of them and I keep a lot of them. For example, I kept um, my crocus bulbs, or corms, from last year. I had 450 crocus bulbs. And what is nice is that when you keep bulbs, a lot of them multiplicate. So as you can see here, I have several little um, bulblets. Well, they're technically corms, but you know what I mean? And I will have more blooms out of one corm like this. Um, so that's, I think, what I'm going to bring to them, the crocus that I had on my balcony last year. And then I'm going to choose some bulbs from these new bulbs that I bought. Okay, so I decided I will take the, as I said, the crocus uh, corms. I bought this lovely mascari uh, latifolium. They are really pretty. I have never grown this ones on my balcony. I grew mascari armeniacum and I saw these and um, they looked really intriguing. So they have like a little bit lighter blue color on top and more of a purple um, towards the bottom. So I have two packets of this. There's 15 bulbs per packet. And I will also take, so the crocus are purple, so we will have first a flash of purple blooms after they will be joined by muscari that which are blue and dark red color from Tulipa Uncle Tom. Uh, so I think that will be, uh, they will not bloom at the same time, so it will be a succession of blooms, which is what we want to provide color all spring long. So that's what I'm taking with me. So I'm on my in-laws balcony, I'm gonna show you what I took. I have some little violas, I took some ivy plants, which will be my trailing plant, some hookeras, some ornamental cabbage, cordyline, and some um, headers, uh, which is kaluna species. And I really wanted to take some kalunas and some ericas, but they only had really large ericas, which were quite expensive, so I decided I will take uh, just a little bit more of those headers. So here are all the pots that they have and for whatever reason I imagine that they have four pots and it turns out that they actually have six. So I will have to go back to the nursery to buy more plants. But I'm gonna plant the four pots uh, today anyway so they are all emptied now. I just emptied them uh, a moment ago. So I'm gonna fill them with a little bit of soil. I'm gonna plant the bulbs that I took with me. Here are the bulbs. Uh, as I said, I have a crocus, I have muscari and some tulips. Uh, and yeah, I will first fill the containers, the pots with a little bit of soil, plant bulbs. Then on top, I'm gonna plant uh, this lovely composition. So let's go.
plant anything, I always put the plants inside the pots and kind of prepare the arrangement so that um, I can, at this point, I can still change things, move plants uh, if I don't like the way they look or if I want to change, uh, you know, their position in this composition. Uh, so now when I'm satisfied with how it looks, I'm gonna plant all of them. Okay, so here is how the planters turned out. As you can see, I used a few perennial plants. I used hookura, ivy and cordyline at the back. All these plants can be grown in pots for many years, so they can keep them if they wish to replant them later in some other compositions. But in spring, they will have to remove these plants to leave the space for the bulbs to grow. I hope that you enjoyed today's project. Thank you for joining me and I will see you again in the next video. Bye!